This video is explaining about the artworks that I have submitted to AP Art in 12th grade in 2019. I have submitted for AP 2D Design and I got score 5 out of 5. This was my first piece in the 12th year and I drew from photos from Pinterest so I drew faces and hands. I really focused on the composition here and after drawing the outlines with color pencil, I added some colors with watercolor. First, it just started with the idea of practicing how to draw faces and hands, but I also decided to include the meaning to make it express the human relationships. So before making the final ones, I have made several sketches. I will include the sketches in the video for the process. And the assignment for this one was to choose an object at home and to dissect it and draw it. So I chose egg and I tried to and I tried to depict it as exact as possible. And I also used uh, multimedia for this one. I drew on oil paper, just craft paper, normal papers, and I cut and stuck them all together. For this one also, I made a lot of composition sketches beforehand. Also, I tried to unify the colors by using yellow and brownish colors. I also used Conte, color pencil, um, color pencil here as well, and acrylics. I remember experimenting with the composition a lot for this one. I was moving the papers a lot and it was really difficult to decide. But after all, I like it. This one is made with oil paint and we did it during the class. So I just drew the still life. And it was challenging for me because I am not really used to oil paint. This one was done for homework and I used one of the photos that I took outside. I used charcoal and conte. For me, it takes less time to draw still life or these realistic drawings than to make an abstract one because for realistic drawings, I can just copy but for drawings that I have to put more ideas in, um, it takes more time to brainstorm for it. So these drawings might look more difficult to make, but for me, these were easier to make. For this one also, I used a photo I took in Barcelona when I went traveling and I used ink. It didn't take much, it took about 4 hours to finish and it's about the size of a postcard. For this one, the assignment was to draw a self-portrait and I used the selfie that I took in my kitchen and I used colored pencil only. I focused on the selected color palette when I used the colored pencil and I also focused on expressing these mark makings. Also, I like this photo because it has a dynamic feeling. For this one, it was the same assignment as the one in 11th grade where we used the projector to shot the photos on the face and I drew from the photo using acrylics. This one was just my personal project and I made it sporadically out of the papers I had and it is about growth. This one was one of the assignment similar to the one in 11th grade and the assignment was to show different shades and different shapes and the concept was about how people wear masks and this one was done for homework of drawing a still life so I had to choose my favorite things at home and to make it interesting I decided to trophy in the mirror colored but the real trophy black and white and I tried to make a lot of mark makings here I used watercolor and colored pencil and this was really challenging like trying to depict the rainbow. I also used pencil for this part. And I was also considered about the composition that I made it. To make an interesting composition, um, it's important to make them overlap, but not too much so that you can see everything. That I heard that the number of the objects in the composition is good if it's odd numbers. And this one is made of ballpoint pen, and this was also drawn from one of my selfies. And I decided to put myself in a sea to show how I am often in my deep thoughts. I focused on again making these small marks. And I used four colors, red, blue, green, and black. This one was inspired from the one before. So I decided to make the drawing more abstract. For this one, I used line of cut. And the process was a bit special. So I had to make four prints out of the same rubber board. So first, I carved out the white parts and I printed with yellow. And then after printing out several ones, I printed out the yellow part and printed with green. And then I carved out the green parts and printed with red and it goes on like that. So it took a lot of time making this and also I had to make a lot of prints just to make sure I don't make mistakes. And this was the best version of dirty prints I made. And this is all. I can really see the improvement if I compare to the ones in 10th grade in these still life and also in these drawings. Also one thing that I didn't notice while I was doing my 11th grade artwork that I work better while I'm looking at the photos. 
So if I draw while looking at the photos, it looks much more skilled. So if I compare this one and this one, this one looks much more skilled. But in 11th grade, I mostly didn't use the photos because I didn't want to. I was really into abstract art. For the concentration pieces, aka sustained investigation now, um, I was studying AP psychology at the time and, and when I was studying for the psychological concept, I drew out this concept named introspection and I just got this idea. So this is myself meeting inner me and I decided to make this into an art series. I made a story based on introspection, so it's a story about me meeting myself inside me. So it's me looking into myself. So this is the first scene where inner me wakes up because the inner me has been sleeping for a while everything's really dark, it's in shadow, and a streak of light is coming in. And for this one, I use color pencil and pencil. For this one, I tried to use different textures. I, I made some experiments with the textures here. It took about 8 hours. This is the next scene, and this is where the colors come in from the outside. So this is just before I meet the enemy. For this one, I use charcoal, pencil, tante, and watercolor. And this is the scene where I meet the enemy. And to make all the illustrations go along, I tried to put a lot of textures here. I tried using the masking fluid, and on that I drew with watercolor. And this is the scene where I am invited by the inner me to go inside me. The reason why I put a lot of textures and colors here is because it's a gradual process and it's going to the climax. This one is the first scene when I am inside myself, and I try to show the surrealness by using these shapes. This is the scene where I follow this inner me into the deep oceans, and these are the hidden waters one of the concepts I learned in psychology. And for this one, I used watercolor and colored pencil. After I colored the whole thing with blue shades, I decided to add these bits of red, yellow, and blue. This is a piece showing myself looking back on the paths that I have walked. So these tangled shapes and colors are my past. And here the main character I has to go inside this cave. And these are the self images. I like this one because it has different sides and other drawings. So this one is the scene where I finally meet my inner self and I notice that it's crying and it's having a hard time. So that's why I decided to use these textures that's expressing a lot of emotions. I use watercolor, color pencil, and crayons, and pencil for here. And this is the climax where I accept my inner self and everything goes to the right place. So these elements that have come out before, like the volcano and the sea, the fish, the mountains, and all the other things, they all go to the right place. And this is the last scene where I accept myself. So throughout the illustration series, you can see that I am using more colors as it goes on, and this was intended. So when it gets to the climax, it has the most colors, and this is the end. Thank you for watching, and if you would like to see more of my AP artworks or my portfolio for university, please subscribe for more information. Bye!